¿Se me oye? ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Hello, welcome to this World Plan Day presentation. I am Victor Fernandez de Alba and I will talk in about uh, Polter Slots. Uh, this is a feature that uh, is present in Volto 18. Volto 18 currently is in its alpha stage, although it's, it's late for being released along with Clone 6.1 before summer. And uh, Volto slots are very heavily uh, inspired by Clone Classic UI viewlets. For those who are familiar with Clone viewlets, uh, it's, uh, it's designed to kind of, uh, yeah, having the same concepts, right? Not only in the execution, but also in the configuration. And we tried to bring that flavor because we thought that it was a concept that worked very well back in Classic. And we wanted to bring this concept back, uh, mainly because we had a lot of use cases where a uh, slot, the old viewlet, uh, made, made very much, much sense, right? So here you have in uh, the documentation, the main uh, official Plone documentation, you have a very nice uh, documentation about how slots in Volta works. Uh, it's quite extensive uh, because we tried at the same time to uh, provide the same uh, set of features as, view as Viewlets had but back in the day in Plone. We also wanted to provide a similar way to configure them. So I will say that it, they are as much as configurable as Violets back in the day were or are still in Classic, uh, but uh, in Volto itself. So mainly, uh, as a summary, I, I won't go into a lot of detail, but we will, I, I would like to show it most uh, mostly as a hands-on. Uh, so by the, for now, slots, uh, you should know that they have a name and they contain a list of what we call named slot components. The slots name are the usual ones that are the ones that we have back in Classic, for example. By default, right now in Volto, we created uh, two default slots, which are the above content and the below content. More will come, but we thought that it will be better to uh, introduce them bit by bit as people started to use them. And uh, then we can add these field slots, uh, uh, name slots in the code, so people can use it without having to do anything else. But for now, you should know that the above content and the below content are in there. Uh, so these slot components are registered using the configuration registry. We will see it in a moment. And uh, the main uh, feature is that the rendering of a slot component is controlled by the presence or the absence of a list of conditions that we call predicates. And these predicates are configurable. There are two predicates by default. But the good thing is that you can add your own predicates. Let's, let's see it, add, uh, an example of that. So I have uh, the code of my personal site. I have uh, a block uh, site, a personal block site where I post uh, my, uh, my thoughts and my <clears throat> blog post in there. And this is the code used for my site. Uh, you'll see that I am registering in my uh, main uh, uh, add-on in my site. I have a Volto add-on in here and in the index uh, JS on, or in this case, TS, I have a call to register my slot. So I want to have a slot. My requirement was for every blog post that I have, 
I want to have a lead image at the top of each blog post. And let's see the outcome first. So this is how it looks like. So I have my blog post in here. Okay, this is uh, my last blog post. And I have a leading image. And I want that this leading image is present in all my blog posts and only in those. So one of the things that we were forced uh, previously, if we wanted to have this, is that we will create a uh, block containing this leading image. There is a block for that the leading image block. And this block will display, would display the leading image that your content type has. But this has some drawbacks because by default, uh, the normal is that you don't have this block, the first one, and you have always to add it afterwards. I mean, yeah, both of have the way that to configure default blocks uh, once you create a new uh, content type. But some, yeah, but uh, at some point it can be done using blocks, but it seemed very suitable for what we had back in the past in classic as a view lens, right? So the question was, can we do that with a view lens? And that's how slots uh, got born, right? So the idea is that we have this default slots, the above content and the below content. This one belongs to the above content. Is will be this space that is above the title, above the rendering of all the blocks, right? And the below content will be below, right? Of course. But let's see, let's remove this registration. If I remove this registration and I save, all of a sudden my slot will disappear, right? So this will be the default uh, Volto appearance where my, the content area starts with the content of uh, the blocks that I have in there set up. But as soon as I register a new slot, I will uh, have this slot set up in, this, in the slot that uh, I want. And le let's, let's a little bit uh, explain what is about this registration. So I have this config.register slot component and it takes an object and this object has this uh, key that is the slot key where I will say above content or below content or the name of the slot that I have created in my site. We'll see more about that later. We'll give it a name. Okay, this name can be whatever uh, you have descriptive for this slot. It will have a component uh, associated to it because we want to render something in there, right? It can be a, a complex component or it can be a very simple component. We'll see it in a bit. This component, the lead image slot, what it does, and if we go to the definition of this component, we are basically, we won't enter into details, but this component will grab the content of the data that is uh, being fetched it will grab the image, it will render it as here, this image, uh, right? And it will render the image. Oops, sorry. Okay. Then we have this predicate thing. This predicate is a list of conditions that will evaluate every time that the page is being rendered. So once the page is being rendered and it gets to the slot renderer component, the slot renderer component will say, okay, I am rendering the above content slot. Give me all the registrations for all these uh, above content slot. And it will go one by one evaluating these predicates. And it will, uh, the first one that is true, all its predicates are true. It will return this component. Uh, by default, we have two types of predicates, but as I said, a predicate is not uh, less, not, not more than a function that can take any uh, arguments, right? And that return true or false. It's that easy, right? For example, the content type condition is one of the predicates of the two predicates that we have by default in Volto. And this uh, predicate will given a list of possible content types, it will evaluate if the current 
con the current content that we are rendering is one of these content types that I have in here. If it's one of those, it will return true. Then the predicate will become true. Then this lot will appear, right? But if it's false, any of its predicates, it won't appear here. So for example, let's, let's bring it back, the component. We have the slot back. But let's say that instead of for all posts, be, so because this slot is, OK, I want to show the lead image only on posts. And if I go anywhere else, for example, I go to block, this lead image won't, won't appear because this content type is not a post, right? But it appears here because this one is a post. But let's say that I put here in document. I set document in here, and all of a sudden, my slot is gone because this content type is, is not a document, it's a post. We have another, let's bring it back. And boom, it's back. Then let's use the other type of predicate that we have. So we have this other type of predicate that is the route condition. This route condition predicate takes as an argument a route, and it will be true if the current route matches, right? So we can say this, and then the predicate will be, OK, this lot will appear if it's a post in the position, the, the, the content matches this, this path. And since this one matches, this lot will continue to appear because it's under slash, right? I don't care where, but it's under slash, so it matches. This predicate has uh, another argument that is the exact argument. So we can say, OK, only appear this lot. I want this slot only appear exactly under this route. And then we gave this true, and then it will be gone because it's not exactly in the root. Right. So by combining these uh, two predicates, we already have a very powerful solution because we can say, okay, the, I want this lot only appear under if the content types uh, are these ones or they, it's under this uh, this route. We can also have no predicates. So what happens when there is no predicate? This is the use case that we call is the default slot. So if no other registrations for this name this component appears, it will be the fallback. So we have a way to provide a fallback in case that no other predicates uh, comply. right? And this is also possible. Then we can register several of them. So let, let's register another one. And let's say, yeah, let, let me see, I have a couple of them. <laughs> yes. So let's register yet another slot, also in the above content. Let's name it also the same. And well, let, let's name it different. So let's uh, call it test. Uh, slot component. Okay, and as a component, we can inline a very uh, very simple component, which will be only a div, and the background will be red. And let's say that the predicate is also it will only show for post. As soon as we save, then it will appear in here. The hello there, you see, and. Uh, we will have yet another slot in there. But let's, the original uh, let lead image doesn't show because I, I had this exact condition, but as soon as I uh, made it true, I said, no, I want it for every slash, then we have the two of them rendered, the image one and the other component that I registered. One very interesting uh, feature of slots is that, of course, you can register them from, from add-ons. And it, uh, they are evaluated on the order of the add-on registration. So it keeps the ordering of the add-ons as they are registered in your, in your project. Right? So 
your add-on can register slots as needed, but you in you and your project, if you're normally your the the the, the add-on, the policy add-on in your project uh, is the last one to be evaluated, you can override or you can remove them because you say, no, this I don't want this slot that is provided by this add-on by default. I want to remove it because I don't want it. Or I want to uh, customize it a little bit. So yeah, I want it to be in this order because I have yet another slot, but I want it to be in the top, right? So you can do crazy things like that because the uh, component registry, the, the uh, clone registry allows you to do that. So we have a quite rich API that allows you to inspect what's in there in case that you have uh, uh, a lot of a lot of add-ons that are registering slots and all of a sudden you don't know uh, which one are registering what. And you can remove registrations, you can modify registration, you can reorder uh, components, uh, slot components, uh, and everything that, that that you can imagine. So yeah, it has a very rich API. So it gives you control over the registration in there. And since it follows the registration of the add-ons, it is it's also very powerful. And I think that's it. Uh, I hope that you enjoy these uh, slots uh, talk. And I am looking forward to see what uh, you are uh, able to do with this new feature in Volto 18. Thanks a lot. Hello, I have a question. My name is Erico, and uh, is this uh, like viewlet slash portlets reborn? No, it's not. It's not portlets <laughs> at all. It's just that we had uh, several use cases where the viewlets concept fit 100%. And we wanted to bring it back, being back the concept to Volta and being able to be as flexible as it is in Flown Classic and even more. Because I really think that this predicates a uh, way of configure the configure, uh, configure the conditions where the slots can appear or not is uh, very powerful and very flexible. So. Thank you.